YouTube, I'm trying to smile to keep from crying. I've been trying to do this video. This is the fifth time I try to record it, and each time I get like 30 seconds in, I'm wailing. I'm going to miss Kyla's mom one. Really, really, I am. Okay, the long pause is to try to keep from crying. I know a lot of people here on YouTube were very close to her. I wasn't close to her, but I did have some interaction with her. Very nice woman. And today is Labor Day, Monday. And I really, really want to do this video. Because it's important to me. Okay. I'm trying to keep it together. This is going to be the last time I make an attempt at this video. I don't care if I don't get it out today, it's going to be done. Saturday, I was wondering, I said, wow, you know, I haven't seen a video for a long time. So let me check out her channel. And I noticed that she had made a video in a month, which I thought was a little strange, but I didn't think that she had passed Saturday, like I said, that's when I checked the channel. But I didn't think that would be the case. I just thought maybe, you know, summer, she's doing a lot of things. But usually she'll tell us, you know, if something's going on, like if when a camera broke, you know, she would say. So I did think it was a little different, but I knew she, I thought she would be back. I really enjoyed her videos. She was definitely one of the people when I went to YouTube whenever I could. She was definitely one of the people I looked to see if she had any new videos because I really enjoyed watching her, her personality and everything. I like when she walked the daughter to the school bus. She showed us her neighborhood and how close she lived to where she worked and yada, yada, yada. And she was just such a sweet person. I see a lot of people here on YouTube um, were close to her. I wasn't close to her, but I did have some interaction with her. And to me, she was definitely like an inspiration. When I saw her video of her Cinnabon, I wanted to, you know, try to do it because she had done it. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm doing a video like this because I never thought that I would. But it's important to me to do it because she really, really made me feel good. My eyes are probably going crazy now, my, my big eyes, right? Because I don't want to cry. She made me feel really good about my hair because... I didn't want to cry, but um, this was going up. because I never got a lot of compliments about my hair. Um, I do get compliments from people here on YouTube and that makes me feel real good. And even if I don't get compliments from people, it doesn't bother me. But what made me feel good, because she was, I think, the first person that told me she liked my hair. Maybe not the first, but definitely the loudest. She did a tag video, and maybe this is not the time to talk about it, but this is what really made me see how special she was. She did a video, and she mentioned, you know, there was one person who she would switch hair with for a day, and that was me. And it made me feel so special. It drew me to her because... We tightly cool hair girls, you know, a lot of people may wonder why we want to go natural because our hair is so tight and it's so nappy and naughty if we don't take care of it, I don't know. But when she said me, you don't know, that made me feel really, really special. And, and from there, I made sure I always had 
or check them out or look her up and wish she tagged me in the video. Yeah, I made sure that I did the tag right away. Oh Lord, I know she's gonna be missed here on YouTube for real. I just liked her videos. She was just such a nice, sweet person. Is that tissue on my face? I really, really hate the fact that I have to pry through this video, but it's going up because I really want you guys to know and feel how I feel because I can see why a lot of people were really close to her because she was just so nice. And if we feel it, I could imagine what her family and her friends are feeling, you know. Well, I say close friends because she did, I see have friends here on YouTube. But, um, I do send my condolences to her family. And I don't have much, but I'm going to try to contribute in some kind of way. Somehow, because... She was just so sweet. When I saw the um, video, I was hoping I seen the video, and I was like, I, I, "Rest in peace, Angel Blondell, aka Kyla's mom." One, I went right past it. I had to go back because I was like, "Okay, I'm hoping that this is something other than what it came out to be." Lord knows, I've been thinking about her. Like I said, I just found out um, today's Monday, Labor Day. I just found out just a few hours ago, maybe about 3 or 4 o'clock this morning, I was up watching videos and I just happened to see that. And that explained to me why when I went to her channel on Saturday, she hadn't done a video. And I was like, wow, that's, that's not like her. But I wasn't alarmed or thought that she had passed. Just that she'll be back soon. and. She was just enjoying her summer, her family, her new home. That was a very nice lady. Oh my God, she just, she was just so nice. And so sweet. I remember the first time I saw her video, or a video from her. I was like, oh, she's just so nice. And I shouldn't say like so nice, like, but she just seemed personable, nice, friendly, informative, and you know, willing to help and definitely willing to share and I think you all will agree with that but I'm just going to say it again she made me feel really good about my hair <sighs> be this the time or place to discuss it I don't know but that's what really made me feel and really fall in love with my, my hair I mean I always liked my hair but when she said she wanted to switch with me for a day you don't know what that did to me and I wish I had the chance to tell her that. I know I said thank you. How it made me feel. But I really wish that I let her know what a great impact that had on me. Well, I know she's going to be missed here on YouTube. She left, a lot, left us a lot of videos to watch, but... I really wish she was still here to make some more. And my prayers are with the family, with her friends, people who loved her. Friends um, everywhere. And definitely here on YouTube. I wish I didn't cry, but she was such a sweet lady. And I know her children, her family are really hurting because we here on YouTube are so hurt, so. But I'm going to end this video, get myself together because I know I look a frightening mess and I don't look good when I cry, but this is the fourth or fifth time I try to do this video and um, each time I started to cry, I stopped the video, but I, I'm just gonna leave this one as it is. I'm really gonna miss her. She was a very nice person. She's in God's hands now. 
and this will definitely teach us all that life you never know when it's going to end you could be young very young when it's your time to go I just hope that the people you love know that um, you love them if they don't tell them tonight but she's going to be missed she is really going to be missed